Dear recruits here, your life applications officer. Uh, I, uh, can I turn that water off in here? Hold up. I'm going to be pausing and going and pausing and going because I got my, my, uh, burgers in there cooking and my eggplant cooking. So, uh-huh. A lot of hypocrisy going on in America right now, people. A lot of hypocrisy. A lot of hypocrisy going on in America right now. And hypocrisy is the word of the hour. Hypocrisy is the word of the year. Hypocrisy has been the word since the beginning of this pandemic. That should be over by now. Should be no mandates for nothing. Should be over by now. Anyway, it's it's. I'm finding out that it's not just me. We're not going to make the stuff that I've been talking about lately about me. Okay, I found that out last night. Whoa, boy, I found that out when uh, Will Smith slapped Chris, the slap of the century. Uh-huh, yes, he did. Okay, watch your mouth. Watch your mouth, boy. I don't care how many years you've been doing comedy. You know you and I don't do each other like that. Watch your mouth. No blood, no bruises, okay? Um, no, you know, people say dumb stuff like, oh, well, you should have got him after the show. No, because if he got it after the show, it would have been more personal. And he'd beat the crap out of him. And then he would have really, really, then his brother would have really, really, really been pissed and threatening and all this kind of stuff and other people, you know? No, he said that stuff. He said that dumb remark on national television at the Oscars. He just got slapped at the Oscars. That's the way I see it. End of that. I don't care how many Christians disagree with me. That's the way I see. That's my Christian view. Okay? Because you know what? Most Christians wouldn't have been there to see Will slap Chris, even though it's the Oscars. They would have never knew about it until until all these dumb, dumb, you know, dumb people said something about it. So all these hypocrites said something about it. Okay? I don't go and pay money to see comedy, okay? Because I know, you know, I know how ignorant they can be. As much as I like a lot of these comedians, especially the black ones, okay? Much as I like them, I know that I don't want to go to their concert. I never want to pay money to go to one of their concerts because this is what happens. They can say it. They can dish it out, but they can't take it, okay? Now, they have what they have now where they roast each other. But, you know, Chris was roasting Pinkett, Jada Pinkett, okay? And this wasn't a roasting. This was the Oscars. He could have left that out. He could have said anything but that. But no. It doesn't even matter to me whether she had alopecia or not. The joke was just dumb. It wasn't just offensive. It was dumb. They just throw that in there at the last second like that. Like, oh, well, you know, I got to throw one in there at Jada. I just got to, you know. I'm just going to close out with Jada. Because she's bald-headed. You know. I don't know why she's bald-headed. It's just stupid looking and stupid stupid to me, so I'm, I'm just going to say something, you know, because I got to be funny. Well, wait a minute, you can be funny without being a hypocrite. You can be funny without saying things to other people's wives that you wouldn't want to say, wouldn't want them saying to your wife, being funny or not. And I get tired, like all these Christians, even Christians, man, just sitting there saying, oh, well, you know, 
Well, uh, 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 you know, you know, she, she's bald headed. Uh, uh, what did she expect? You know. Oh my God. You got people, psychologists, jumping into this bandwagon, and and uh, oh my goodness. This is why I'm a Christian, folks. Seriously. This is why I am a Christian. Seriously. This is why I am a Christian. What else would I be? Oh, my God. The hypocrisy in this country right now. The hypocrisy right now is beyond me. So, you know that I did a video about D-Roy Cruz Vote for D-Roy Cruz in 2024, right, for president of the U.S., okay? Talk about hypocrisy. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. It was fun last night. I went to various channels to see who might watch my video because I felt that one was funny but there were some ones I said before that this fool jumped all the rest of them and went to this one he said hold up I gotta go to this one first okay he thought he was gonna clown me oh yeah let's, <laughs> let's see what Mr. D where he got to say well and I was enjoying the laugh with him. You know, I'm, I'm Chris Rock. You know, I'm enjoying the laugh with him. I'm enjoying it. You know, he's talking about how, you know, he's trying to figure out, wait a minute, Mr. Cruz, how you how you think you're going? Hey, 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 you know, he couldn't figure it out. And I'm thinking, listen to the video, baby. Listen to the video. It gets better. And I'm having a blast. But all of a sudden, this fool forgot that he's one of the people that felt that it was wrong for Will Smith to get up there and slap Chris over a joke. But, oh, last night, this fool, he fell back on the couch and started beating his chest like he was trying to resuscitate himself or something. And then... He just out of nowhere, the, the high blood pressure cuff comes out of nowhere. He's putting it on himself. Hold up, hold up. Hold up, y'all. Hold up. Whoo, it's a little up there. It's a little up there. I'm all right. Hold up, y'all. It's a little up there. Then he's. Who's up? See, this is why you need to get out of false religion. See me, I would just, help me, Jesus. In the name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, touch this high blood pressure in the name of Jesus. Woo, Lord, glory to God. Give you praise, oh God. Touch me, God. But no, he in some kind of religion that got him. What part of you two don't you understand? Did you forget? Did you forget to laugh? Did you forget the joke? Did you forget that this is YouTube? Did you forget that I'm just an average guy?
But oh, in my joke, because I know that I'm never ever going to be uh, president of the United States and I really don't care. I really don't want that burden. But in the joke, yeah, I said some things that like these comedians, I think are funny. And I think are pathetic, and I and I think that something something need be done about it. Yeah, I said that. But this fool, he having a panic attack or something. But oh, oh, it's okay. Excuse me. My 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 eggplant. It's okay for Chris Rock to make a joke about another man's wife's baldness while he's sitting right there in front of him. But it's not okay for me to be on YouTube where all these people to come to my channel say, oh, Mr. Cruz, you're very entertaining. Mr. Cruz, we only watch your channel because you're very entertaining. Okay. But it's not okay for me to make a joke about me becoming president and what I would do, the funny things I would do if I was to become president. This brother is having a panic attack. This brother got out the blood pressure cuff. He He's, he's pounding his chest. He, I was about to call an ambulance to New Orleans. I don't even know the brother's address. I'm going to say, hey, look, just go to New Orleans and look for some dude with Medusa coming out of his throat, okay? Um, the dude should be in one of them big houses in New Orleans laying on the floor trying to resuscitate himself. God, talk about hypocrisy. My goodness. He getting all mad at D-Roy Cruz, and D-Roy Cruz is laughing while he's doing this video. But he getting all mad and flipping. He's losing his top. This is why I'm a Christian. This is why. This is why. This is why I'm a Christian. I am so glad that Hollywood finally took a slap. I am so glad that stand-up comedy finally took a slap. I am so glad that, you know, these, these Hollywood actors and these um, people that are, you know, monitoring Hollywood and worshiping Hollywood like it's a god, I'm so glad they all took a slap. They took a slap in 2022 that they'll never forget. And the comedian that said that, he's 100% right. We'll never forget it. I'll never forget it in a good way. Okay? Because this is the thing. This is the thing. Chris Rock and other comedians, they know, and most comedians, they know that this shows the world that you need to be careful what you say in, in, in stand-up. And you need to be careful what you say on network television, even at the Oscars. What's next, the Grammys? I sure hope so, okay? You need to be careful what you say, but they can't because this is their career. They're making money for being ignorant. They're making money for being non-caring, okay? But, oh, but see, that's because those are the big people, you know, the people that got money, 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 money. The big people, the superstars. They got money, they can call a mob on your butt. Okay? But us people a little bit down below, 
we don't get to do it like that. My man about to, to, to end up in the emergency room because I was joking around about me being president of the United States. This is the hypocrisy that we have to undergo. This is the hypocrisy of America today. Okay, this is where we're at. And you wonder why I don't care what this community feels about what I say and why I don't care what this community says about what I say. But I tell you what, one thing I do care about is families and their children. One thing I do care about is people that are trying to live righteous lives. Not TikTok lives, righteous lives. Okay? All these people out there are guilty of getting up there and making these movies. And we in the background, us smaller people, we in the background watching these movies, thinking that they ain't got to take that crap home with them. They do. Hypocrisy. This guy last night, people was people thought at first that you know uh, Will Smack and Chris was staged. I sure hope this brother in Orleans, in New Orleans, last night was staged. I hope that was all a part of the joke. Because if it wasn't, brother, let me tell you something. Jesus Christ said, come unto me, all you that are heavy laden and burdened down, whether you got high blood pressure, diabetes, or whether you uh, 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 got uh, uh, alopecia areata, or you got the shingles, or, 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 or you, you got COVID, or whatever. He said, come unto me, all you that are heavy laden. And burden down. I will give you rest. For my yoke is easy. Oh hallelujah. And my burden is light. Come unto me all you. That are heavy laden. And burdened down. And I will give you rest. For my yoke is easy. And my burden is light. What do you think I do? Y'all don't like what I say on my videos? Okay, screw that. I'm going to become president of the United States, and then you really don't like me. You think Donald Trump put you through something? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I ain't putting, I'm not putting no immigrants in cages. I'm going to put some Americans in cages. How about that? And you know who I'm talking about. I'm going to put some Americans in cages. I'm about to deport some Americans. The immigrants can come on over here all they want to. I'm about to deport some Americans in their place. <laughs> don't have a heart. Don't, brother, don't, leave, don't get out of the blood pressure cuff, brother. Calm down. Calm down, brother. Calm down. I'm sorry. I'm going to say the thing that Chris Rock should have said. I'm sorry, bro. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, man. But see, all the people getting on this bandwagon, I'm doing a series right now on bandwagons. I don't want to call this, I don't know if, the, yeah, I call this one bandwagons because I'm still on the same subject. Because everybody's on this bandwagon where, you know, these people are gods and these are, you know, and then depending on how much money you make and where you live and what you got going on on social media, what you got going on on television and all like that, you're coming down here. If you ain't got nothing going on, you just an average guy or average woman, then you're down here. Okay? And you don't have a right, you don't have a right to say nothing to nobody. 
You don't have a right to disagree with anybody. You don't have a right to express yourself in any kind of way. The only thing you got to do, the only thing you have a right to do is have sex and have babies. With no responsibility intended. That's all you, that's the only thing you got a right to do. You're not even title, entitled to your job. If your job don't suffice them, thank God I have a job now where, you know, my job suffices celebrities. I deal with celebrities every week, okay? But if your job don't suffice them, they'll put you out of business. You know? Hypocrites. But see, everybody's falling for it. Everybody's like, oh, yeah, well, you know, everybody's untouchable or everybody's, everybody is nobody until they become untouchable. Everybody is a nobody until they become a touch, until they become untouchable. Guess what? I don't need anybody to touch me but Jesus Christ. And he touches me every day. Touches me every day. Okay? Touches me every day. So I am DeRoy Cruz. I am your life applications officer. Thank you for watching. Watch your mouth. For I slap you and make sure everybody knows I slapped you. But calm down. Calm down. But understand, it takes one to know one. What goes around comes around, baby. D. Roy Cruz, I'll see you later.